Sports from Milan, boxing news from the capital city, who will legendary trainer Jimmy Tibbs. Jim, how happy were you um, with this training camp? Oh, it's been marvellous. Best, one of the best camps I've ever been to. Um, yeah, as when I was training, I was been. That was a great camp, and this has just been just as good, if not a little bit better. Does it take you? I remember you, you said before that it sort of took you back to those days when you yeah, were at the Renaissance. Yeah, and, and uh, Chris Pyer, people like that, you know, and um, Michael Watson, all good fighters, all middleweights, certain middleweights. It was, um, yeah, it was great to. Sort of like reliving it again now with Billy Joe. Definitely. Yeah. And everything's, I mean, that um, public work out there, yeah. we've all just seen Jim looks like his speed has increased. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, he's, you can see he's on the weight as well. Yeah. Such he's, a, he's, yeah he's strong. Yeah. He's, really, he's really strong. Yeah. Very strong at the weight now because if I wanted him to, he could have done the weight last week. There's no point in it. Yeah. There's no point in it. So let him build up a little bit. Now we're just tinkling down. There's no panic about the weight. No, no. When I when I spoke to Billy Joe yesterday, he was openly admitted. Yeah. You know, he's he he'd been naughty on his no, diet. Not last time. Now. That's what, <laughs> and um, he said like now to, to get. To, to get away, like you've been wanting to the yeah. last sort of few yeah. camps, haven't you? You wanted yeah. to get him out of that, yeah. and um, and do you think that? We're going to see a difference there. I think you're going to see a better Billy Joe. Um, we're going to see a good fight. Chris Eubanks, we're not underestimating him. He's a good fighter, good puncher. But in my opinion, with no disrespect to anyone when I spoke about boxing, he's not been in the calibre that Joe's been in with. And, um, and he's not done the rounds that Joe's done. And I think that's going to tell the difference during the fight. The press conference yesterday, Jim, uh, Eubank Jr. openly admitted that he doesn't need a trainer, he doesn't need advice during a fight, yeah. which you seem astounded by, you know, a man of your experience and knowledge. Well, I was, um, it's a bit of an insult to trainers, not, not me personally, I don't tell them this, because I think, you know, I don't know the boy, but I know he's dead and he's dead. I had a lot of, I've got a lot of respect for his dad, he was a good fighter, he's dead. And, uh, but everyone needs a little bit of advice. Everyone needs to lean on someone. And they'll find out that Saturday night. Do you do you think not listening to some mate, not not listening to much, but you've got a trainer like Ronnie Davis in your corner, you know, who like yourself has been there and done it. Yeah. You know, you need do you not think that you need Well we insulted Ronnie Davis, I think, yesterday, like by saying he's just a Vaseline man. He rubs a bit of Vaseline on and I was a bit, you know, like, I was a bit sick about it really because uh, Ron has been there and done it, as you say, with uh, Big Chris, Chris Senior, and um, no one ever complained about Ronnie Davis then in the day when he, was, when he was around with Chris for about, reigned for 10 years, didn't he? Was, what was that, 10 defences, 12 defences? Mm. So, you know, he was there for him and he, uh, Chris Eubank Senior never complained. Yeah, without a doubt. And in terms of, I know you can't talk too much about, you know, what, uh, strategy and that, but what, your, your approach to the fight, what, what sort of result do you predict on Saturday, Jim? Well, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I've don't, never predicted results, mm. or if, but I'm going to tell we're going to win. Why? That's all I'm going to say. We're going to win. And moving away from uh, the Eubank fight, Jim, you currently got a autobiography out yeah that is uh getting amazing reviews and everyone i personally know that's read it has said it's a, a fantastic read yeah, awesome. um what was that what was that like to to well to i've been asked over a lot of years to write a book because i've been a professional boxing trainer for 35 years uh i've been to prison i'm ashamed to say but that'd be done i had to do what i had to do when i was young i, I couldn't do it now a bit more common sense but um Back in the day, like, I am not let no one push me around. And I just thought I'd write a book. I didn't want to bring up all the old scores and all that, but um, I had to put a little bit in to tell the truth. And um, I said, well, I've got a few things up my chest what I want to say and put it right. Uh, not only for me, for my family, my dad especially. And uh, I feel better in the mind for it. I feel Definitely. very satisfied with it. Lovely. Yeah. Well, Jim, uh, thank you very much for talking to us today and wish you all the best on Saturday, mate. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Very kind of you. Time, mate.